Hey out there in YouTube land, it's Friday. TGIF, thank God I'm free, thank God we're free. I'm a real estate investor, in case you guys didn't know. I made like 250 videos about real estate investing. About how to buy them low, how to fix them up, how to refinance them, how to rent them out, how to sell them, how to buy them. Well, for the past year, I haven't been able to find any deals. It's, some people might say, a terrible market. What you got going on here is lack of inventory. So you got people that own their houses and they have 3% interest rates on their mortgage, right? But they don't want to sell because the interest rates are above 7%. So you got very low inventory. And then you got people that were qualified at 3% to go out and buy a house. And now interest rates are today, I think they're above 7% which is still not bad, but we got spoiled. So you got these people that can't afford the houses that they wanted before. So it's like a double whammy. Like the market is terrible in some people's opinion. I mean, if you own houses and they appreciate, like they've been appreciating like crazy, then you sit on that equity and it's gonna, it's gonna pay off eventually. So I got a little bored. <laughs> I've been a little bored because I can't find a house. My front lawn, it looks like a carpet, like it's manicured. It looks like I cut it, each individual blade of grass with scissors. That's how nice it looks. I do the cooking. Matter of fact, I got a tomato garden. I made fresh tomato soup. That's another story. Anyway, real estate's my thing, and I've been getting a little bored, so yes, I put my thinking cap on. How can I make money in the real estate market without selling? I don't want to sell any of the properties. I want to hold them for, for a while. Without selling any properties and without buying anything new, how could what could I do? <laughs> and I came up with it. And if you're like me, which you might be like me, I enjoy learning by listening to how other people do things. And then I can apply it to my own life. So today I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. And there might be some stuff in there in, in, in this video that you can apply to your own situation and be like, hey, that Harry was onto something, you know? So hold on to your hats. I had to take a quick break and feed the birds. I got such a look from a cardinal that landed on the top of that bird feeder and looked over at me with such disgust because it was empty. Do you ever notice how cool basements are even when it's really hot outside? Like, I love basements. I could live in a basement with no windows. It's not Diane's thing, so I don't think we're gonna be living down in a basement with no windows. Hey, before I tell you about the real estate thing, which is, I'm really excited about, and Diane is now, I laid it all out for her last night. She's super excited. Because not only are we going to increase cash flow for us, put money in our pockets, which is always a nice thing. Who doesn't like money? I like money. I heard this advice one time that says, go out and get wealthy. Life is easier with money. I was like, that's like, <laughs> Not only is money nice, but it's also nice helping people. And what I'm going to tell you, we have the ability to help somebody, like a lot. And it's just, it's just a good thing overall. So stay tuned. But before I, before I give you that info, I got to just rant for a second about two gurus that are on, I'm sure there's a lot of them, but two gurus that are on YouTube that I used to watch, uh, Greg Cardone. I'm, it, and you know, if you've ever watched any of my videos, I usually never, ever, ever talk negativity or smack about anybody, but Greg Cardone mm, and Dave Ramsey. Now, they got millions of viewers and millions of subscribers, so somebody could say, hey, Harry, you're just jealous. And maybe. <laughs> no, that's not the case. They're so negative that I think people want to listen to negativity. And if that's what it takes to get millions of views and millions of subscribers, I'm not going to get them. I listened to Grant Cardone the other day. Now, I used to listen to him when I was first getting into real estate to get me pumped up, right? But something seemed off when I listened to him. He always came back to buying a single family house for yourself was stupid. He just comes right out and says, you're stupid if you buy a single family house. I can't figure out what he's talking about. He's saying that when you go in to buy real estate, it should be 16 units or more, or don't waste your time or your money. Everything else is a waste. Of it just never clicked especially because I was buying single family houses and making over $100,000 on each house. So that didn't make sense. And I put it together. <laughs> I consider myself really intelligent, but in this particular case, after it comes to me, after watching him for a long time, I don't feel that smart. <laughs> he has his own fund. So what happens is 
If you listen to him long enough, what he'll tell you is, don't go out there and buy your own house. Send me the hundred, two hundred, five hundred thousand dollars that you were going to invest in real estate and put it into my fund so that I can invest it for you. Because, and this is Grant Cardone, because I have superior, superior knowledge and insight into the real estate market. And if you want to make three or four percent per year, which is good for you, because <laughs> you don't know what you're doing, send me your money. I'll manage it. Then it made sense. He doesn't know what he's doing, except he's an awesome marketer, right? And he's got a fund that he's got going. I don't know, probably a billion bucks. So anyway, if you want to listen to Grant Cardone for entertainment, that's my recommendation. Would I send him any money? There's not a chance in hell. Who's the other guy? Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey. Now, I, I really don't listen to Dave Ramsey because I, I'm all into people that love themselves. But he takes it to a whole other level. I heard this woman calling the other day. And he, if you want to call into Dave Ramsey because you want to feel bad about yourself, you should absolutely call into Dave Ramsey. And if you ask him about real estate, he will definitely stroke his own ego and tell you all about how you're doing it wrong and how you should do it. Now, <clears throat> I don't know that much about Dave Ramsey, but from, from what I listen to, he wants you to eat pork and beans out of the can, right? He wants you to live like a pauper. And then when you get to be about 75 years old, then reap the benefits of your poor lifestyle and live the high life when you're like 90. Anyway, that was my rant. So I outlined what's going on with the real estate market. And I know I'm not the first one to tell you guys that. The low inventory, higher interest rates and everything else. Some people will say, and that's why I did the whole air quote thing about terrible. It could be, but the equity in people's houses has gone through the roof. Like if you looked at what your house was worth two, three years ago compared to what it is today, Typically, over the past like 50 years, houses usually appreciate between like three and a half, four and a half percent. Well, there's <laughs> some double digits in there. So now you got equity in your house. What are you going to do with it? You're going to sit on it. I'm going to sit on it. That's why I don't want to sell any of my investment properties. However, I need to do something because I'm bored. All right, that's not the primary reason. Even if this whole thing looks like that's the reason why I'm doing what it is, that's not the reason. I'm going to take a home equity line of credit on the house because we got quite a bit of equity. I got this credit union that will go up to 100% of the value of your house. Now, that's not for everyone out there. I know it's not. I'm all into leverage. It's not like I'm going to go out, get a couple hundred thousand dollars on this house on a HELOC and then go down to Atlantic City and blow it. <laughs> all right, I'm not. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put an addition on this house. I'm going to add the finishing touches. I'm going to do the interior. So. If houses in my area are selling between $300 and $350 per square foot, and I could put that together for under $200, making money, right? So here's one thing. The other thing is that Diane's dad, my father-in-law, lives in one of our rentals in Union Beach. That rental, well, instead of telling you about it, let me show you what it looks like. This is where he currently lives. It's a house that we own. We bought it a little bit less than five years ago. We bought it for $109,000. I put about $60,000 worth of work into it, and it is worth almost $400,000 now. So it just reinforces my thought that there's no better investment than real estate. I've heard otherwise with stocks and businesses and stuff, but from my personal experience, there's no better investment than real estate. He's getting older, so he chooses to park as close to the front door as possible. Check out that rabbit, huh? Anyway, it's got a nice size lot on it. The nice thing about this house is that we were able to finance it with, check him out, huh? Uh, we were able to finance it. We have a, I think we have either 3% or 2.9% mortgage on this house. It's fantastic. And as a result of that premium mortgage, we get to rent it to my father-in-law for a thousand dollars less than what the market would demand right now. So that's a cute house. My mother-in-law had passed away a few months ago, so he's over there by himself. Even though he's close, five or six minutes from our house, I know Diane wants him here with us. I want him here with us. And we were gonna, 
we have enough room in the house right now with the boys gone, we could make some extra room inside the house. But he's independent. He doesn't want to be in our business. And oh, we don't, I don't think we want to wake up and there's my father-in-law in his underwear in the kitchen. But we want him here closer. It'll bring a lot of comfort to Diane. I want him here. And he'll be independent in the addition that we'll put on the house. It's like a win-win-win-win-win situation. The other thing is if, if we're putting an addition on the house, he doesn't want to live for free. He wants to pay us something. So we'll charge him whatever the, the, the extra HELOC payment is going to be over there. It's going to reduce his rent down to half of what it was. Never mind the utility savings, the phone, all that kind of stuff. He's going to save money. We're going to have him over here close to us where we want him. The value of our house is going to increase. We're going to make over $1,000 more on the rental unit that he's currently in. It's like a win-win-win situation. So here's the plan. This is our house. I was originally thinking about putting the addition over here to the right side where the Jeep is. Have I showed you the Jeep? I love that Jeep. And no, we don't have direct TV. I don't know why I never took that satellite dish down. Anyway, back to what I was saying. We were going to put the addition over here. Well, I was thinking about putting the addition over here. Taking the space from the garage, adding onto that to make room for my father-in-law, and then putting another two-car garage on the other side. However, Diane had a much better idea, and she said, let's put it to the left side of the house. So what we're going to do is we're going to add on one story, no steps, because, I mean, we want to eliminate any steps for my father-in-law. It'll look kind of symmetric, except it'll be at least double the size of what you're seeing over there with the garage and then we'll go back so it'll be about 550 600 square feet and it'll be perfect we'll have a a walk through in a hallway that we have inside the house it, it'll be perfect and oh did you notice that grass does it does it not look like carpet huh i gotta get going on this project so i told you what this addition is going to do for us we're going to be able to bring my father-in-law over here to be with us in his own space brand new it's going to be beautiful diane's going to be able to put her diy cap on be able to design everything she's excited about that i won't be bored anymore i'll be doing a lot of the work not a lot i'll be doing, i'll be picking and choosing what i want to do we'll be adding value to our house at the same time we're doing this my father-in-law is going to save a lot of money coming over here with us. It's not going to be any money out of our own pocket because my father-in-law wants to pay his own way. He's independent. He's got money coming in. He wants to pay his own way, and it'll be, it'll be fair for everybody. Diane and I are going to have an extra $1,000 a month cash flow coming in from the additional rent that we can get from where my father-in-law lives right now. It's like a, I don't want to sound too dramatic, but it's like an amazing thing. If that specific situation doesn't apply to you guys, I just want to throw a couple things out there so maybe if you want to think about it. Maybe you want to move from your house because you want it more space and addition could do that. This is the time to take advantage of the market because the values are so high. And if you have an underlying mortgage with 3%, you don't have to touch it if you get a HELOC. Maybe you want to bring a loved one over with you, whether it's a parent, a kid, an aunt, an uncle, could bring them over they could save money and they could pay their portion so it doesn't get any so you don't have any more money out of your own pocket now listen i'm throwing this out there and this is very loose because depending on where you live you can't all of, all of a sudden have a two unit <laughs> if it's not zoned properly however you could put the addition on like i was talking about and generate more income for you guys to help sustain yourself like if you're, if you're tight on money you want to make more money and you can't move then maybe this is an option also what I'm saying is you could stay where you are and get something new like it with an addition and increase cash flow if you have an investment property or change somebody's life by bringing somebody over be closer to you so I, I hope this helped I hope it put your thinking cap on and if you have any questions leave a comment down below I'm waiting for Diane now because we're going down to Atlantic City.